Sing for your seeker. Roy makes his presence felt in the big boy's bedroom. Rucksack and rifle, Tim finishes off his trip to Portugal with a meat feast. Plus, there's a chance to win a half kilo rucksack. We have news, we have hunting YouTube, we have another Field Sports Nation exclusive offer. Welcome to Field Sports Britain. According to the British Deer Society, most, if not all, free-roaming British and Irish seeker deer are descended from a single stag and three hinds, introduced into an Irish estate in the 1860s. History lesson over. 160 years later, and thanks to rotten fencing, Roy is in Hampshire hunting one of their great great greats. If we, if we bump into him, that is a phenomenal stag, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful stag. I mean, that is a awful thing. On this balmy evening in October, he is being guided by Ryan and Mike from Jelen Deer Services. The environment is just perfect for them. You've got a mixture of sort of deciduous woodland, uh, pine woods, you've got uh, valleys, boggy areas where the seeker like to live. And we've left them alone pretty well for the last four or five years and we're starting to see some world-class sort of seeker stags come out now. So this is where hopefully Roy's going to end up with one of those tonight. Seeker is a deer we haven't featured often. They can be a bit tricky, but Roy has the tools for the job. He's spent weeks fine-tuning his calling and antler drumming to get those boys coming to us. Unfortunately, my, um, my seeker calling is, is not quite up to par of my fallow calling. I've been upsetting everybody at home for the last couple of evenings re-practicing because I've not, uh, not called Seeker for a little while so um, I was asked to roll out of the kitchen and um, go into the fields and, uh, and play so you'll have to bear with me on the first couple of calls, I might uh, need to clear my throat. You know Roy's going to try sort of whistling them uh, and rattling them so it'll be interesting to see how that goes, it's, it's a technique that we've never used before but they are whistling like hell at the moment and uh, you know hopefully it'll be quite exciting. The downside is that this last uh, 24 hours the temperature has built up again and although they were quite active two or three days ago in the in the frost uh, it remains to be seen what they what they do today but I'm pretty I'm pretty hopeful Ryan's pretty good at, at finding with his young eyes <laughs> what are you saying Mike come on come on I'm saying I've only got one eye and I'm getting <laughs> old <laughs> so he's uh, he's your best bet of getting a good seeker tonight anyway Jelen is an official Blaser-sponsored outfitter, so Roy is using the Estate Rifle, the R8 professional success with the thumbhole stock. These are the ones we were using earlier, yeah? Yeah, 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 165 GMX. The others are identical, they've just got a different seat in depth. We have two outings booked. This evening, Ryan is taking us, and if we blank, Mike's on duty in the morning. And this is the boy we're looking for. Ryan took it on his phone earlier in the year. He has been very vocal, but as with most rutting action over the last few years, the weather is messing with their minds. We do everything by the book, but it's quiet, very quiet. All that we can do is grab a and b and come back in the morning. Right, they're going to be full first light this morning, and unfortunately it's still a little bit warm. But... They're still around. Yeah, It's cooler, but not busier. Roy unleashes the orchestra, but to no avail. We walk miles. This is Seeker Central down here. You wouldn't think so. <laughs> a week later and we're back. Roy, dog with a bone, Lupton is not going to let this opportunity pass. He's even spent the last few days changing his tune. We had a very, very, very long walk a few days ago and 
we covered every inch of this forest and didn't see a seeker stag. Didn't hear a seeker stag. But Ryan has assured me that there is a seeker stag in here. This is crunch time. Will it be third time lucky? All we need is a single seeker scream to get us focused. When it comes, it's close. But light is about to fail fast. Another few calls from the same spot means we need to step into the old boy's boudoir. Oh, hold on, mate. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> oh, man, that was absolutely on the money. We had he's huge. Is he? I didn't, I couldn't look. <laughs> he's big. Oh, man, I was there, sort of crouched like that. Was absolutely amazing. We've been stalking this stag and stalking this stag for three days and he was calling down there and it's right on last light and I've been practicing and practicing with the, the seeker call we had a little rattle nothing came and then we came here and it was literally one of those moments where you've got to go for it or go home because we came right into his territory and just gave him some squeals um, nothing for the first couple of squeaks and then we got a response gave it another one and he just came charging in like an absolute bull but where the, the light is low he was searching for us and we couldn't quite see him. He came through the, uh, the opening here. Um, he was probably only about 40, 50 yards away from us and he was just searching around for somebody to fight with. Um, I was just gonna push Ryan out in front of him if he did come for <laughs> us. But um, yeah, and we just shot there and hopefully he's down there, so. Oh, Jesus, well done. Congratulations. Last <laughs> one. Let's go and have a look. Wow. What an absolute old corker he is. Oh. oh man, what a beautiful, beautiful stag. God, he is absolutely stunning. A real old warrior as well, isn't he? Gee whiz. This is, this is the exact stag we were after. Um, he, he can't even whistle properly anymore, bless him. He, um, He's a real old warrior and we've been seeing him quite a bit now and he's going back now as well and he's still he's still right up there. Yeah, I mean he's uh, he's certainly got some rubs and some nicks and stuff on him hasn't he? Yeah. He's, been, uh, he's certainly been in the battles but massive great big thick set neck there and he's a, a big body stag as well. Yeah you often get really good responses from some of the younger animals but that's definitely the, the best response I've had from a, an old beastie like that. If we hadn't taken that risk we would have been uh, going home on the, uh, the M3 again tonight, uh, empty handed, and uh, I don't think David would have um, forgiven me. He, uh, he did say he was gonna take away my postman status. <laughs> and that is definitely gonna be one of the, my stalking highlights and one of my stalking memories that uh, stays with me and uh, all the time I've still got my faculties. And this, is, this young man here has been watching you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that really makes me feel old. Well, and you as well, mate. No, since, <laughs> since yeah, that's, that's it, since we started Phil Sports 10 years ago so now. been for you, Ryan? Oh, a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> because the first, the first time you ever watched Phil Sports was one of our first episodes, wasn't it? Yeah, the row run. Okay. So. That's it, when we were out with John Tobin calling that morning. Yeah. And the, the response we had from this old boy was very similar to the response we had from one of those bucks, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I say, for a, a seeker to respond like that, I was um, I was really pleased with that. No, oh. they're just too bloody. Sharp, Back at the yard, it? Roy is still buzzing about the reaction to the call. I'm just over the moon to get a response like that from a amateur stag like that. Roy, the postman, normally delivers, but this time 
the postman had to ring thrice to get his deer. For more information about Jelen Premier, go to premierwildlife.co.uk. And for more information about the Blaza R8 rifle range, go to blazasporting.com. Thank you, Ryan and Mike at Jelen. And Roy's grunting, whistling and rustling repertoire continues to grow. Speaking of which, the grunter himself is back from his travels. It's David on the Field Sports Channel News Stump. This is Field Sports Channel News. 50 cows are safe for the moment. After sustained lobbying by the shooting organisations, the UK government has removed the proposed ban on 50 calibre rifles, including this 505 Gibbs, which Charlie is shooting badly from the Offensive Weapons Bill. The decision follows discussions with Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown MP, the chairman of the all-party parliamentary group on shooting and conservation, and Jonathan Genogli MP, the chairman of the British Shooting Sports Council. The government has said it will consult further on the issues around the use of high muzzle energy rifles. British antis are turning their fire on MPs. The League Against Cruel Sports are furious that four MPs went shooting at Catton Hall in Derbyshire, invited by Basque. They're particularly angry that one of the MPs is Nigel Adams, Parliamentary Under Secretary for Wales, because they say it's an attempt to reverse the Welsh Government's decision to ban pheasant shooting on its land. Basque says it takes the MP shooting every year at Catton Hall. Staying with the Antis and they're increasingly using local newspapers to peddle their wares. A viewer sent this in from a local paper. An anti writes a column where he says that mole catching is something to do with pheasant shooting and they should both be banned. Falconers are gathering in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Falcons and Hunting Exhibition takes place from the 4th to the 8th of December in Riyadh. It celebrates falcons as representative of Arab values, including pride, and nobility. If you're hungry in the USA, the chances are you'll be eating venison. A state wildlife federation program called Hunters for the Hungry allows hunters to donate deer to processors who then pass on the meat to food banks and soup kitchens. With one deer providing almost 170 meals, that's a lot of hunted game. Hunters in Tennessee alone have provided more than six and a half million meals to people in need since 1998. Thanks to Ken Payne for sending in the story. And finally, an upland keeper has at last trained his grouse. June Feeney posted this on Facebook showing a gamekeeper friend of hers called David, who she says can call grouse to him. Please tell us how. You are now up to date with Phil Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts. Thank you, David. Next up, we have a Field Sports Nation exclusive offer. It's a Jack Pike jacket, gilet and trousers, normally priced at more than £200. We've got them for £80 off, we're selling them for just £120. Now you can find them in our shop, either by following the link in the description or go to the eye symbol top right and click on that link up there, or simply key in F channel slash Jack Pike. We only have five of them to give away in sizes small to 2XL. Next, Tim Pilbeam is in Portugal, hunting meat for Sergio Couto's parents. The lengths to which that man will go. Tim already has his Portuguese rutting red stag. It is his next outing with Sergio Couto and we are keeping our options open. OK, well, we just um, driven onto a, a national park, actually, so very different areas where we were before. You can see it's very, very much more open. And on this um, property, they got a lot of wild boar. They've got red deer. We just see some um, red hinds, actually, just on the other side of the valley there. And also, they've got some fallow deer. We've got about an hour's worth of sunlight left. So we're just going to have a quick look around 
and uh, see if we can find ourselves maybe hopefully a, a boar. They've got some, they shot a really big one here two days ago. So I'm always, always get excited when it comes to boar. Something about boar. Anyway, but uh, whatever. Um, once again, with a rucksack and rifle, when we go filming, we, 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 nothing's guaranteed. <laughs> nothing's guaranteed, you know. It's not, as um, Sergio says, it's not a supermarket. So we get out there, have some adventure, have some fun, and hopefully find ourselves some game. There is all sorts of game available here, but Serge asks if we can keep a lookout for a young animal for the pot. You know, Portugal is known for a lot of things, not for hunting. And, and I'll try now, coming back to my, my original country, and try to do something, you know, try to push it a bit forward. And that's the idea between me and Tiago, of course. He has passed his love of venison onto his parents in northern Portugal. Eating game doesn't come naturally to the Portuguese. Different countries have different cultures. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just the way people are brought up with, you know? And I have to learn that myself. Um, because, you know, the way we do in Scotland is different than they do in Portugal, is different than they do in Croatia, is different, but there's no right or wrong. The Hadada da Urgiera is where Sergio and Tiago host their guests. It's comfortable, we imagine, as on this hunting trip the accommodation is something we're not seeing a great deal of. After another full morning's worth of hunting the eucalyptus plantation, we return to the National Park. We came here last night, we're looking for a beast for the pot. Yes, if your parents are here, they, right, they, 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 you actually convert them to uh, venison, venison yes. yeah, which is unusual for Portuguese. So. Yeah, we were looking for a spiker or a young doe as well. We could a young doe as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something young and tender. Yeah. Uh, old folk, you so know. Don't we all, yes. Old folk, thief, <laughs> thief are a bit worn. <laughs> This is our last chance of a second animal on this trip, and we're all a bit tired. I've been using the, um, the kite optics, and today I'm using the Lynx. They're eight by thirties, really lightweight. And uh, towards the end of a trip, getting a bit tired. And I find it's really, really brilliant. One hand, two hands, but uh, they're just so light and portable. It just makes a bit of a, a change from the kind of heavy optics on the back of your neck. But they're just really good to pop them into your pocket, move them to your side. So it actually makes a, you know, it makes a good change to have a lightweight pair of optics in this bright weather. They're actually perfect. So um, yeah, perfect for the job actually. As we perch on our rock, the light is going fast, but we hear roaring, which gets the blood pumping once more. Sergio spots a fallow pricket way in the distance. It's going to be a 15 minute march to get within a shooting range, but then there's movement to our left across the valley. Yeah. Sergio tells Tim to shoot the calf. Wow, <laughs> that was not an easy shot. Not, not an easy that shot. was not an easy shot. 270 well yards away. Well done, uh, and, the, and the beast went away as well, and he came back, and he kept calling it. And then the mum turned away. And I thought, oh my goodness! Before she just stood a bit longer, but and also the, the, it was actually looking at us. And I just didn't want to take that shot with flat on. And when she came up and went out, she didn't knew she should tap the back, and she didn't knew what to were. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it was, it's not easy, but uh, yeah, well, <laughs> just shows you what patience can do. Um, you know, the light is dropping so, so fast, but well spotted. I mean, David saw the one down there. It was the same pair, I suppose, was yes, it? Yes, same pair. And then you hear them barking, corking. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
but uh, that's quite a shot. I was 270 odd yards away. You know, reasonably stable position. I just thought going back and yeah, yeah. And flop. But that's the, in some ways, the beauty of a 300 wind mag. Yeah. yeah you got down, you got downrange energy. You know, it would knock him over. You should have waited another 15 minutes to be on the track. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. yeah. <laughs> I blame the caller. Oh, well done. Oh, well yeah. done. You you persisted. I, I I had more or less given up. To be fair. I know. You just never know, do you? What's out there? You never end it until you end. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. But that, I think also it tells you. Is, is quad sticks, whatever whatever brand they are, exactly. they, yeah. they they have actually transformed um, long long range because if you had just normal sticks, that'd yeah. been quite a tricky shot, oh, yeah. much much easier, a lot more stable, you know. And they transformed hunting, especially for planes game. Of course, because you know, like shooting from a table is really yeah. really good. A lot more. Yeah. So all you got to worry about is the, is the up the elevation up and yeah. down. That's what you got to hold. But sideways movement. But well done, guys. That was I'm I'm impressed because I. You know, <laughs> you give up on me. Eh? I, oh, yes, you, I, 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 you I was and the man. Uh, yes, like, come on, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, well done, well done. You, you. You've come up with the goods again. Yeah, Good. well done, you. <laughs> Bushes, big tree. That was not an easy shot. I just put my gun down. It was unloaded. Uh, that was not an easy shot. Right on top of the brow of this hill, 270 odd yards away. And I think it's actually a high shot. We have a look in a minute, but uh, I was pretty stable actually anyway, but uh, it kept on moving a wee bit, so it wasn't the easiest of uh, ones to take. But uh, beautiful looking youngster there. And uh, Sergio was wanted a one for the pot for his for his parents and we've got the best one you know nice youngster there it's going to be beautiful eating as well what can i say about portugal um very surprised it's a beautiful place this part of portugal is stunning scenery here you can see how the landscape how it varies so much it's got so much to offer the stags the stag there's plenty of stags they're big they're healthy they you know even some of the fallow around here they're beautiful animals and there's wild boar as well so i think we need to get down here guys because there's a lot to be had and there's some really good guys youngsters down here who are running these 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 outfitters and they're dedicated to hunting and they're looking after this livestock anyway end of lovely day a lovely trip early start of the morning and within uh i don't know about 18 hours we're back in london and uh, back home again so what a wonderful trip another Special trip for rucksack and rifle. Hola! With the calf Gralix, our chariot arrives. It's the ranger's pickup. What a motor. <laughs> what the bloody hell's that? <laughs> hey? For more information about Steyr rifles, go to steyrmanlicker.com. For Harkila, visit harkila.com. For Kite Optics, take a look That'd at kiteoptics.com. And if you want to hunt with Sergio and Tiago in Scotland or Portugal, Go to circoutwildharvest.com. Come Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! <laughs> uh, not a problem at all. Thank you, Tim and Serge. Now, Tim's series Rucksack and Rifle is supported by clothing company Harkila, and we have a rather excellent Harkila rucksack to give away worth many, many pounds indeed. All you have to do to be in with a chance to win it is write the words Harkila R and R in the comments below this film on YouTube or on its page on Facebook, and we'll draw the winner in a few weeks' time. Very best of luck. Now, from Portugal to the wider world of hunting and shooting online, it is Hunting YouTube. This is Hunting YouTube, which aims to show the best hunting and shooting videos that YouTube has to offer. Thanks Gordon H from the UK for this pigeon decoying film, it's pigeon shooting over stubble from line of sight video. Just to show it's the same the world over, here is pigeon shooting in Pakistan in September 2018, Kabuta Kar Shikar by Adam Mayo Hunter. In the world of high pheasants, Dave Carey shooting takes on Chargot on Exmoor as part of his best game shoots in Britain series. Good timing too, because the shoot is for sale. Prospective purchasers, please watch this film. On a smaller scale, pheasant shooting 
Shooting Ireland of January 2018 by Glenn's Hunting and Shooting consists of clips from the end of the 2017-2018 game shooting season. Henrik Gustafsson sends me a great film from the island of Öland. All in Swedish, the area is the King's Land, where Royal Ranger Peter Villidu takes a new hunter for his first stalk on fallow deer. Thanks, Henrik. Jonas Tillmans from After Persh sends me this film from the row rut that he put out in October. It's part two of a stalking series and has English subtitles. From the USA, here is the latest in Cheyenne River Hunters series Coyote Culture, including calling some misses and this successful shot in wind out to 370 yards. And finally, Robin Foxer is in the middle of a British town dealing with foxes that are tearing up a bowls club. Robin now has a happy client and a green they can repair. That's it for this week. I've put all these films into a playlist for you. Click on the eye symbol top right or check this film's description. If you have a YouTube film you would like us to pop into the weekly top eight, email me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. What a lovely bunch of coconuts. Now we have our own series just out. In Field Sports Ireland this week, Jason is going pheasant shooting at Shelton Abbey in County Wicklow, the shoot where he shot his first driven pheasant. Plus, he's in Scotland stalking stags on the Dalness estate with his cousin Larry. Much to look forward to there. Click on the eye symbol top right to watch it. Well, that's it for this week. If you haven't done so already, please pop over to our website, fieldsportschannel.tv, where you can click to like us on Facebook and on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. And, of course, you can pop your email address into our register page and we'll contact you about the show out 7pm UK time every Wednesday. Plus, you can back us. You can join the Field Sports Nation. Go to fieldsportschannel.tv slash shares to find out about that. I will see you next week. Good hunting, good shooting, good fishing, and goodbye. Goodbye.